Hello everybody, my name is Dean. Welcome to Books and Quirks. It's time for another Friday Reads. So I'm getting this up a little bit later than I usually do on Friday, but I had a splitting headache earlier, but I'm finally feeling better. So I'm glad that I can be able to film this on Friday and not have it delayed. But yeah, I mean, I had a really good reading week. Um, but as for today, I'm going to do a little bit of a wrap up because my reading, since it's still Tom Topple, will kind of still be a continuation of what it was last week. So as you all know, Tom Topple started on August 4th, which was last Friday, and it goes for two weeks. And the whole point is to try to read big books over 500 pages. It's hosted by Sam over at Thoughts on Tomes along with, and she has the help of a um, a number of other booktubers and just like last week I'll put that information in the description below. But like I said I did manage to get a good bit of reading done not as much as I thought I would but I'm still happy with what I did. So even though Tome Topple started on Friday the first thing that I read was something that I needed to finish up. It was part of a group read and that is a book that I've mentioned a few times already on this channel and that is The Luminaries by Eleanor Catton. This book, um, I had about 150 pages left of it last week, so I managed finishing it that Friday. This is a tome in and of itself, even though I didn't read it um, all during Tome Topple, just the last bit of it. Um, but you know what? In the end, I'm really glad that I read this, and I'm really glad that I read it as part of a buddy read, because it really helped me to get through this. By the end of the book, I wound up really loving it, and... But I did have a couple of problems, so I won't get too much into it, but a brief synopsis is that this book follows 12 main characters and a number of also secondary characters, so it's a lot more than just 12. Um, at the beginning of the book, somebody goes missing. Um, there are a lot of like little mysteries going on. A lot of the men are involved. They're, they're all... Um, men, the, some of the secondary characters are women, but all of them are involved in like some schemes and some cons and, you know, they're all in some uh, shady kind of business. And from the beginning, you only get little bits of information as the book goes on. So one of the problems that I had with this book was that it took me a long time to get into. I mentioned this I think last week when I spoke about it, you know, for the first 200 pages, if it wasn't for the buddy read, I might have put this down. I'm not saying I would have DNF'd it, you know, I wouldn't have, but I would have put it aside and maybe tried it again later. It's really hard to get into. There's a lot of confusion in the beginning, but as you go on, I think it's, it's worth it. And I'm so glad I went on and continued on in this story. And I absolutely loved it by the end. And, um, Another, the only other problem I had with this book is there's a lot of references to astrology, and by the end of the book, I still didn't get those references, so maybe it's just that I don't know a lot about astrology. But yeah, The Luminaries, I definitely would recommend it, but I would caution you that it's a lot of characters, so it's a character-driven book and not a plot-driven book, and that's... It takes a while to get into and you need to be, you need to have patience with this book. And I wound up giving the luminaries four stars, more three and a half, but I bumped it up on Goodreads to four stars. The second book that I finished, and I just finished it yesterday, was The Name of the Wind by Patrick Rothfuss. This was my first full tome that I read for Tome Topple. It's um, well over 600 pages. And I really enjoyed this. Um, I also gave it four stars. Um, or actually, I don't think I marked it yet on Goodreads, but it will get four stars. I really enjoyed this. This book follows a man by the name of Cavote. I, I don't think I'm saying that right. You know, in the book, it says, you know, he says how it's pronounced. It's kind of Quote, it looks like. But that doesn't look right to me. <laughs> but anyway, um... Cavote is sort of a legend, and he goes into hiding. He's he's known um, 
there are a lot of legends surrounding his adventures and his conquests and he goes into hiding with a friend of his because he wants to live sort of a simple a simple life but somebody comes to town and recognizes him and offers to write down sort of his life story i don't think i'm really giving this book the justice it deserves um and he sort of, so this book is sort of a recounting of his life from childhood into the present. So Cavote is a really interesting character. You know, it's told in his, so the story is told in his own voice and it starts out when he's a child and in, during his childhood, he was part of sort of a traveling group of performers. And, you know, I really enjoyed reading that part and you find out um, early on that he has some magical abilities and he has a good chance of getting into this legendary school called the university where they study the art of magic and try to teach you how to control the magic. And, you know, it's just amazing. It's high action you know, it's just action packed and it has a lot of heart and I absolutely love this book and I cannot wait to continue on in the series. Um, yeah, I just, I can't say um, enough good things. The only reason why I didn't give it five stars um, is that I think that, you know, there are a couple of parts in this book where it dragged a little bit for me. But for the most part, I really love this book. So I highly recommend The Name of the Wind if you like high fantasy and just, you know, a story with a lot of heart. I just love Kavothe to pieces and I just wanted to hurt anybody that didn't treat him right. <laughs> so um, highly recommend this book. Okay, so now what I'm currently reading. Last night I started Lair of Dreams by Libba Bray. This is the second book in the Diviner series by Libba Bray. Um, it's a YA fantasy paranormal book. <laughs> um, I really loved the Diviners. You know, she only comes out with a book, you know, it's supposed to be a four book series, but there's like three years between each book, it seems. Um, I love The Diviners. I couldn't wait till this book came out, but it came out now over a year ago and I still hadn't got to it. And I think just because it was so big on my shelf, but this is a perfect time. I'm not that far into it. I'm only about 30 pages in, so I just barely started it last night. And I cannot wait to continue. So this will be my second tome for Tome Topple. And yeah, I cannot wait to, to continue on. And I'm sure I will have no problem finishing it, um, you know, before Tome Topple is over. And I think it's over on Friday or maybe Thursday is the last day. The 17th. Whatever day the 17th is, is the last day of Tome Topple. So yes, I cannot wait to continue on. I can't really tell you much because it is... A sequel and I'm not that far into it either but just like last week I will tell you that the diviners is part historical fiction it takes place in 1920s New York City and the time period is very prevalent in the first book you know the whole time of clubs and jazz music and speakeasies and you know prohibition it's just um, it's just big um, a big part of the story but there's also a big paranormal aspect where there are, there are sort of underground demons and um, and other world <laughs> type things that are, you know, coming out and causing havoc. So yeah, I cannot wait to get more into this. And the last book that I hope to get to by the end of the of the week um, is The Assassin's Apprentice which is the first book in the Farseer trilogy by Robin Hobb. It will be my first Robin Hobb book. I've been meaning to read one of her books for a while. And yeah, it, even if I don't finish it, I'm sure I will have started it and made a good dent in it by the time Tom Topple is over. We'll have to see how the work week goes for me. Um, who knows? Maybe I'll finish both and that'll be just be great. I'll finish all three tomes that I wanted to finish. Who knows? But, um... But yeah, I'm really excited um, for this coming week, and I'm really happy with the reading that I got done last week, this past week. 
Um, so we'll have to see how it goes. But that is all I have for you. That is all I have for this Friday Reads. I hope you all are having a good day. I hope you all are going to have a good weekend. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe. And see you next time.